Okay, so like I said, if you are the historian, you're going to be working on the product description, so you're going to decide which uh, of the products that we can design based around technology is going to be best for the pro uh, problem that you've discovered and exposing uh, the conflict of the Civil War. If you're the graphic designer today, you're going to work with the design plan. So you're going to think, okay, what are some resources I can use to build our technology? What are some things that I can sketch out that will show maybe the layout of what we're going to create? And then what materials and a to-do list. You may not do the materials and the to-do list until you've had a conversation with your historian afterward. That This is you imagining what you think, and then when we come back together, you're going to be able to use all of your documents to then create the final product. Okay? So that's my graphic designers. For my statisticians, you are going to go even more in depth with your analysis of your survey results so that these can be included in the final product. Remember that you are also going to have to come up with and create a, a short expository text that explains that survey data and its significance to your product. Last is our psychologists. So you are going to look at your survey results and then decide what types of conflict management strategies do we need to teach to the student body in our product so that we can address conflict on campus. Are there any questions for me? No. No? Okay, Wait. so if not, in just a second I'm going to have you grab your stuff. Historians, you're going here. Statisticians, you're going there. Psychologists, you're going there. And graphic designers, you're going there. And I'll bring you around your paper. How do you feel that the student role system helps you daily in our classroom? Um, it helps us see like how other people in our classroom like understand stuff differently from us. So, like when we're struggling, they help us out. Um, it helps by like being specific and giving different things that other people can do at the table. Jobs. So, yeah. Thank you. How does this role system help you daily in class? This role system helps me daily in class because when we're in a group, we know our our strengths and our weaknesses. That way, when I'm, I'm weak in a point and someone else has that strength, we can help each other out. It helps me by telling me what part I have to do daily to support my group, make sure we finish our work the right way. When you're in a PBO, how does your daily role become a career-based role? Um, my role is the navigator, basically the leader of the group. It could be like you can own a business and be the boss. My role is that I'm a mediator and that the role is an essential role. They are a civic expert. All right. My daily role becomes a career-based role because she allows us to manage information like a historian and also lead our group. How does this role system help you in the daily class by giving you an idea and careers that are just meant for you? And my daily role is as a navigator in a class. And for the PBO, I'm a historian. And we are usually risk-taking, brave, outgoing, courageous, and ambitious. One. When I am in, in, P in the PBO, my daily role becomes a career-based role because I am a visionary as a daily role. But on my career-based role, I am a graphic designer. So I vision what we need to get done for the day. I generate many ideas like a graphic designer that vision what he or she is going to design. When I'm in a PBO, my daily role as a navigator turns into a historian because as a historian, I interpret, research, analyze, and I write down the important information and details. Okay, so my daily role reflects skills needed for a career. The skills she allows us to manage, like a reported role, teaches the tendencies of communication and good influence. In a PBO or project-based learning, this is beneficial because it allows for more space for harmony between a group. In our ongoing PBL, I am a statistician. With this role, Ms. Webb is letting us manage and analyze data, understand conflict, etc. This can be an opportunity to gain real-world skills.